I like that little chair you're sitting in. That's cute. You want it? For sale. Oh, is it? How much is it? Five dollars. Okay, I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, friends. In today's video, I find a lot of Christmas items at this garage sale. And I'm really taking my time here because there aren't a whole lot of sales today. Now, as you can see, I am still wearing the exact same shirt I was last weekend because it's still the same weekend. <laughs> there might even be one more video after this one with me still wearing that shirt that has those red strings. But you guys, it won't happen next weekend. Okay, let me know who would have picked up the clown picture. And keep watching to see if I do or I don't. <laughs> Coming out of that Jersey Good place, morning. there is no distance. There's a car and then they have to swing through the parking lot. So it's just, that's you know, not they're coming open, this way, yeah. these people going right. this way. And if you're trying to make a left and they're trying to make a left, it gets all confused there. So people from ours turn right, go down and make the U-turn right. or go turn left and cut through and come up by BBB. Not only that, but once you start thinking these drivers in there, it's just late right there. And they're finding winding way as they cut through, which yes. are quiet little. Any more? Yeah. Any more? Yeah. Any more? Yeah. Um, yeah. I know, because we go winding way to go to the, the bank right there, because we, we, we go down there, and we always like that, because it's quiet, and now... I got in a line to get on to 528 on winding way to see the person. Crazy. And I'm just going to get same for right there. Yeah. And I grew up, I mean, I've been in the country for 40, over 25 years, so to see it in dirt roads, it's just We've been here for 20, it, well, I've been here for 20 years. I've been here for 20 years. Yeah, I mean, I grew, I was five when I moved here, so it's just crazy to see it, and it's amazing. A lot of change? Yep. I don't like it. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Are a lot of people upset about the new Chick-fil-A? I think people that live near it are. Yeah, it is going to be a mess to it get is. to. It's gonna be crazy. I was already thinking that. But my kids are happy. <laughs> oh, I'm sure, yeah. I came to see if y'all had anything left I could use. Hi. Hi. How much is your tree skirt? Two dollars. Your stockings? A dollar each. This is first So I'm finding some really cute Christmas ornaments. I know a lot of times these vintage ornaments can be collectible. 
So be sure and let me know in the comments down below if I missed anything or there's a lot of them I'm not sure what they're called. If you guys happen to know what they might be called, uh, be sure and let me know. I really appreciate y'all's help. Okay, this is killing my bag. We're gonna have to pick up this little bucket and put it on the table and rummage through it. <laughs> you guys, there's so many Christmas ornaments here. So many that I ended up buying. I'm gonna have to do a haul video at the end of this and show you guys everything that I got. Most likely, a lot of it will go up on Macari initially just because it's super fast for me to list over there. And then slowly I'll um, start cross posting uh, some of the items to eBay as well. In the comment section below, be sure to check out my eBay store and my Macari store. Also, I believe my Poshmark and Etsy store is listed there as well. Also, as long as I'm rambling on here, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and also click on the bell so you'll get notifications whenever I publish new videos. And be sure and give this video a big like. I really appreciate it, you guys. I'm going to these cups. 50 cents. Start a pie with you while yeah, I look at these the ornaments. I like that little chair you're sitting in. That's cute. You want it? Oh, is it? How much is it? Five dollars. Okay, I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> pretty cute. Pretty cute. <laughs> Yeah, it's cute.
Do you know what you call these? They're like little fairies no or something? Cute. Was my in-laws' home? So. Yeah, that's all in there. And then how much is it? Two dollars. Two dollars. Right here. Just throw this one. Okay. There we go. Little GoPro. I like to record the garage sales. Ah, huh, that's neat. Heck. Yeah, Santa Fe. Yeah. I've been there one time for a uh, wine run. Yeah. YouTube channel. Oh, okay. So, like yeah, and sometimes um, people are disabled and they can't get out. Okay. And so, um, you know, they feel like they're shopping with me. Gotcha. So, plus it's something I really enjoy. How much is your clown picture out there? Which one? I'm sorry. The clown picture. Clown. Is, did it get bought? No. Did it get bought? Okay. <laughs> I swear, y'all. I went to high school, I finished high school, and even some college. <laughs> Again, looking back, I should have just offered her a straight up price for the whole box of ornaments because looking at me rummage through them, I'm seeing some that I wish I would have got. So, uh, darn it. So always, if you see a lot of things you like, you guys negotiate for a, just yeah, a flat rate price for everything. I mean, worst case scenario, I could always donate the ones I didn't want. Are you a little planner, Trishel, too?
Okay, I think I'm ready. You're done? Yeah. You want to do 35 for all of it? Um, okay, so five for the chair, and you said five for the, the picture. And then all your ornaments, your faces, and this, mm -hmm. your stockings, your runner. Um. We do 25? I'll do 30. Okay. So be sure and let me know in the comments down below if you think $30 was a good deal for everything that I got here today. Oh my gosh, I am the biggest lollygagger ever. <laughs> Could I take any longer to get that money out and give it to her? Good grief. But look at that chair I got. So cute. Oh my goodness, fingers crossed, you guys, that I can get all this on without breaking anything. Okay. Is this pretty light? Yeah, it's light. It's not bad. You got it? It's kind of heavy. I'll be, I'll make another trip. Thanks so much for shopping with me today, you guys. I hope y'all had fun and we will see you next weekend. Bye everyone. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Well, here's a, here's a penny right here. Okay. Thank you. Okay. We are back home and I just wanted to share some of the ornaments that I picked up with you guys. So you guys remember these, um, vintage fabric uh, cloth type ornaments so they're like little plush stuffed animals so I'll probably lot these together and sell them um, probably on eBay now here are the glass ones uh, unfortunately I did not make it home with all of them saved the airplane actually broke off but it's a nice clean cut so I think that I'll probably be able to maybe glue that back on because that is really neat and unfortunately none of them are marked but we have this pretty little cat here uh, with this little silver tail and then we have a really cute little puppy dog so I'll sell those in a lot um, and then just some little miscellaneous ones I'll probably sell this one this bunny here with that lot I thought this one was interesting. It's super lightweight. It kind of looks like Raggedy Ann to me. And then the bottom says the Bob's Merrill, Merrill Company. So I haven't really looked any of these up just yet. Uh, this one, I'm thinking it might be handmade. It says Stone Mountain and it's a peach. I had a friend who lived in Georgia and she always talked about Stone Mountain. So I'm thinking this is probably from Georgia. Um, this one here is from a local winery. That's really pretty. 
So oh no, no, I'm thinking I might just keep this one. And then this one just says New Mexico on the back. And here is a little Arthur Court bowl. That one's from 1999. I always pick up Arthur Court whenever I see it. I'll put that on eBay. And I thought this little bowl here was interesting. Coco, are you smelling? Uh, but I, could, I guess it's lemons, maybe it's pears. I don't know. Anyway, the yellow and green. I just love that color combination. And then the back says that. Never heard of that either, but really pretty. And then I just fell in love with this little glass bunny bowl here. So it's kind of like a little miniature one, like the chicken ones you see. But I love this pretty blue glass. And I think that is so well with Easter coming up. Oh, let's see here. And then I was really curious about these two right here. Again, they're super lightweight. And this one says, all new material Japan. And then there's two of them, one wearing green, one wearing red. And this one, I haven't got out my loop yet to look, my magnifying glass, but I'm pretty sure this is an Arthur Court uh, ornament. Maybe it's not. I can't really read what that says without my uh, having my loop with me. But it looks like it says 1997. Really pretty. This one I really love. I love birds. And it looks like some little songbirds, maybe eating some bird seed. And then on the back, it's signed. And this is so cute. Another little bird on the back eating some seed. So, Bastion Mark. You know what? I think I recently sold a brooch by the same lady. That is interesting. So, I believe it was a piece of jewelry. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, within the past two weeks, I believe. So, that is interesting. So, she must just be an artist of... Uh, many trades because she can make these um, ornaments like this and apparently she can also make really pretty jewelry this one's interesting it's like a little bus ornaments could be worth a lot of money you guys I was looking up ornaments Christmas ornaments and I sorted highest to low sold and you wouldn't believe some of the crazy things that I saw you guys should go do that search and just from now on when I go to garage sales and estate sales no longer will I be overlooking the Christmas stuff it is insane how much stuff there is out there that sells for really big money that's uh, vintage Christmas so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video oh and real quick here's the stockings two of those and then that real pretty um, tree skirt right there I couldn't find a brand on it but it's definitely high quality. Let me show you this part here. I believe it's made of 100% cotton and it's got these little snaps right here so that once you put it around the tree, you can lock it in place and it's not gonna move around on you if you got little varmints like I do. So dry clean only. So yeah, I'll probably definitely be selling this. A lot of times my dogs like to lay under there at Christmas time. So I just have a hard time keeping tree skirts with dogs. And sometimes they even pee on it. I mean, they're just, they're just little hellions, I tell you. <laughs> so I don't know. I've been trying to find a solution for that because I definitely don't want to go without a tree skirt. But um, it's like anything that new comes into their, envir their environment. I don't know if it's because I have two dogs and the other dog smells, you know, the other dog I have no idea maybe if I had one dog I wouldn't have this problem but I have been trying to find a solution to keep the dogs off of the tree skirt at Christmas time so if you guys know of any solutions please let me know in the comments down below so again I hope you guys enjoyed the video please subscribe if you haven't already like the video and share it with your friends and we will see you guys this weekend bye everybody